Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and this is going to be a really quick video. In this video, we are going to design the blinking cursor animation in Figma using interactive components. So I think uh, blinking cursor animation is unanimously used across every UI design uh, to signify that there is an input text field. So wherever you see or whenever you see that blinking cursor, you know that it's a text field where you, where you can input text actually. So we're going to design the same thing in Figma. Uh, for this, before we start, you will need interactive components. Uh, how do you know if you have interactive components enabled in your Figma system or not? Uh, just don't select anything like here and go to your prototyping tab. And in the prototyping tab, if you have Figma interactive components enabled, then you will see it here in the right. If not, then just Google it and there's a form that you can fill and they will enable it for your account. So for this interaction, you need this feature. Great. Uh, let me quickly walk you through the UI that we're going to use to create the cursor animation. So we have an app here as it's a simple travel app um, is a question and I'm just going to write an answer to it. And after this Tokyo Japan text, we need to add a blinking cursor. So let's quickly design that. So for the first thing that we will need is a rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, right? And I'm just going to draw a rectangle. So we need a slightly bigger rectangle because that's how it looks like and we can give it a rounded corner if you want and uh, instead of five we can give it like three that looks perfectly fine yeah and you can give any color you want i'm going to give it something like this green color okay so this is how it'll and we, this is what we're gonna animate into a blinking cursor so now what we want is i'll just take it out um i'll just keep it here for now Okay, and rename it to cursor one. Okay, and while this is selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and select create component. So if I select this, it will be created into a component. If you see on the left, it's a component now. And what I'm going to do next is selecting this, I'll come to my right panel and click on variants. So what will happen is it will create a new variant out of this. So let me just quickly change the dimensions so that it's visible easily yeah so what's gonna do is it's just gonna create a simple copy of the same thing that was already there in the uh, component and it'll create two variants now so one it'll automatically name it as default and the other one will be variant 2 so we need not to worry about this what we're going to do is now is that uh, we're gonna take these two stages the second stage that we have here I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna give it a pass through of 10% so that it looks a little light okay and the left one is full 100% now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my prototyping tab okay and I'll select the first one and I'll drag it to the next one and instead of on tap you will need after delay so that it automatically goes to the next one okay and you don't want to give 800 milliseconds you just want to give like immediately so 1 millisecond is the minimum that you can give change to um, again to variant 2 smart animate we can give ease out and something like 100 or 200 milliseconds should be fine okay similarly what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the next one the second one and loop it back to the first one so that will automatically move between the two stages so again not on tap after delay again we don't want 800 milliseconds we could give like 10 millisecond a little bit more time so that it stays to that stage a little bit uh, change to smart animate ease out 200 milliseconds I think this is perfectly fine okay now once you do that that's it I think that is the overall interaction it's very simple now once you have done this once you have created this variant when you go to your assets tab right here you will see that this cursor is now available here in the local component what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna drag it and place it next to this Japan text okay and move it wherever you feel like where you feel like it's looking good okay perfect now let's see how this looks like in the prototyping tab so if I come to my prototyping tab refresh it you see it's perfectly fine looking like the blinking animation is working perfectly fine I think it's a little bit too fast so what we can do is I can come here again I'll select this one, go to my prototyping tab. So we have given uh, something like 
टू हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड्स डिले वी कैन गिव इट लाइक थ्री हंड्रेड सो दैट और मे बी फोर हंड्रेड लेट्स ट्राई फोर हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड्स सो दैट्स अ लिटिल बिट स्लोअर एंड या आई थिंक दैट शुड वर्क या एंड आई एम गोन रिफ्रेश इट अगैन लेट सी हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक या नाउ इट लुक्स रियली नाइस ओके सो दैट्स हाउ यू क्रिएट अ ब्लिंकिंग कर्जर यू कैन डू वन मोर थिंग एक्चुअली इन दिस एनिमेशन वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन सेलेक्ट दी टेक्सट and the cursor together in the uh, frame and what i can do is i can hit shift and a on my keyboard and that will convert it into an auto layout okay so it will convert it into an auto layout so that if you move anything like let's say the text is bigger or smaller you don't have to adjust the cursor because the cursor will be automatically moving because it's an auto layout so just a small touch um if you feel like you can do it um just add a what do you say um auto layout to it and this will work perfectly fine okay so this is how it looks like and yeah and one more benefit of creating this way the blinking cursor is that you can drag out as many as you want in the screen and they will all work perfectly so you have designed it once and you can drag out as many as you want in the screen and they all will look perfect so if you see this is working perfectly fine so yeah i think this was this is it actually uh, pretty simple interaction and you can make your prototypes even more realistic with this blinking cursor animation and now you know how to do it i'll see you in my next video take care bye bye